Here we have a video card that came in for repair. And this one is the XFX, Mercury AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX Magnetic Air. That's what the customer wrote. Referral, YouTube, issue. Bought a barely used 7900 XTX of Jawa that worked out of the box when I got it, but after a few days, just died. No display output out of any of the ports. No fan spinning, only the LED lights light up. My PC boots into Windows just fine based on switching to motherboard display output. Windows does not detect my 7900 XTX and device manager either. I tried switching cables and reseating the GPU and nothing changed. So where do we start? That's a very good question. One thing I can tell you is we have very low success rate working on 7900s or AMD in general. We're going to follow the procedure, do visual inspection, measure voltages. I know from experience a lot of times it ends up being a core related issue, which deems the card a no fix. Some viewers still ask, why can't you replace the core? Few reasons. Those cores are not sold brand new by the factory. They only install them on carts, but they do not sell them. You cannot buy one brand new. And if you want to buy a used one, you buy it from somebody who salvaged that core from the cart, not knowing if that core is good to begin with or not. The seller will label it as good working in a good condition, tested. I do not know how they test it, but that's what they say. Tested in good working condition. You buy that core, you spend five hours removing the old core, reballing, cleaning, reflowing, soldering that chip on the board. Maybe you repeat the process twice if you mess up somewhere. And then later realize the card is still not working. That card that you bought and you paid three, four hundred dollars for is faulty to begin with. That's why the card was salvaged. You get back to the seller and you tell him that you sold me a bad chip we tried it, it did not work. They're going to blame it on you. Oh, you already used it. You applied a lot of heat. You did this, you did that. We do not take the chip back if you already used it. Now you wasted five, six, seven, ten hours, two days, three days. You lost the money on that chip if you cannot dispute it and get your money back. And all the frustration. No, of course not. I mention it every time. You have to work smart and not hard. A lot of people do the opposite. Oh, it's passion. It's passion. If that's what you call passion, by all means. You seem like a very passionate person. If you do not make money working on that card by end of the day, you lost. You did not get paid and you lost your time. And time is more important than money. The time that you lose, you will never get back. Use it wisely. Use it to fix stuff and make money and do not waste it on rabbit holes. But I have to give it my 100%. Then you're wasting time. I can tell from minute one if this is going to be a rabbit hole or if I should work on it or not work on it. Somebody else want to spend the time, waste the time, by all means, they may be able to fix it, but at the cost of time. And time is more expensive than money. Okay, so visual inspection looks good. We are at the end of the card. And look at this. Wow, look at this. Do you see it? That chip just jumped at me. Like, look at me, I'm here. Jumping up and down. It's a good thing that we did not lose it. Look, it's just floating. How did we not lose that chip when the card was flipped? 
Wow. How did we not lose that chip? The chip was jumping all over the place. Look at this. The chip is ripped off the board. We have one, two, three ripped traces. And I only see one pin on this side. We should have two pins and three pins. That chip is done. That chip, it's game over for that chip. I hope we can grab a similar one from one of our donors. I do have some XFX cards here. Not the same one, but what is that chip? J2. J2. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, so the chip is out. We cannot use it anymore. And let's take a look at the Hiroshima that we have here. We need to restore. Actually, this pad is still making a connection. Where is this trace going to? Okay, so this trace is good. We need to restore this guy right here, so we need to run a wire. Actually, I still see the wire right here. So we're gonna extend that wire, create a pad here, and we're gonna have to go from here to right here. And this one goes from here to right here. And we are using nf.flux, one of the best flux that you can get your hands on. I already discussed the flux in a previous video or previous two videos. And if you look at our community post, somebody tested the flux against other fluxes and the results are obvious. Look at the community post I have. They heated a copper board for 24 hours and our flux did not even flinch. It remained liquid where others, they corroded. I discussed how our flux is resistant to heat. It lasts, it lasts a lot longer. No odor, no smell. ROHS3 compliant. JSTD compliant, safe for humans, the environment, and the board. Look at this, the pin is still stuck on the pad. And for international orders, we now have the 1999 first class option orders under one pound. If you are ordering a microscope, the $19 is not gonna apply anymore because it's more than one pound and you will end up paying the $56 shipping and we do not make that money for us. Shipping UPS, FedEx, DHL, International is very expensive. So it only makes sense if you have a big order. Do not just order one item. You live in the middle of nowhere and then complain about shipping. We tend that wire, no problem. Let's use our anti-glare light to get rid of the glare and look at this. And tell me the anti-glare light is not amazing. I do not want this wire to touch 
this pad so it's better for the wire to be external so I can see it and I could have done this after soldering the chip now I have an XFX card I have one right here just want to see if we have that J2 chip I've seen it oh right there right there look <laughs> I just put the board, I threw the board under the microscope and it came straight to the J2 chip. I just wanted to look down at the connector. I threw it under the microscope and it came exactly at the J2 chip. This was not planned in any way, shape or form. I think it's our lucky day. But of course, no such thing as luck. You are lucky you have a business. You are lucky you have a house. You are lucky you have money. People do not understand what it takes to be lucky. Unless you are born with a golden spoon in your mouth or inherited $2 million, then it's a different story. I'm not that person. Now the board is not very comfortable to work with because I currently have the board laid on my bench like this with the lip extending outside my bench so I do not have a board that's tilted if I lay it flat if I put it all the way inside the bench then I'm going to have a tilted board and it's going to be hard to focus on a tilted board and that's why I have the lip outside and I do not have the flexibility of going like this or like this And the wire is done. All right, and that wire is making a connection. It does not have to be on top of the pin or under the pin as long as the wire is making a connection. Very nice. That chip is tiny. Look, I have a nickel right next to me and just look look at the size of the chip it equals to maybe two letters on that coin if you have a nickel try to read those two letters that's the size of the chip not the traces the chip the traces are even smaller you are dealing with a 0 0.1 millimeter wire so it's like cutting the toenails of an ant have you ever done that before? Try it, it's fun. Grab an ant. Look for the leg first. Look for the toes. And then look for the nails. And cut them. And now we need to run the wire from here to here. And that's one teardrop of flux. Alright, so mission accomplished. We just trimmed the nails of the ant.
All right, and we are done. Now, let me just quickly measure for a short circuit on the 12 volt line. Make sure we do not have any shorts before we attempt to power the car down. Right, and we should be good. No short circuit anywhere on the cart. Let's go ahead and power the car down and see what type of an explosion we're gonna get. HDMI cable because I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic that we're gonna see an image and maybe we can put a tiny heat sink over the core. It's not gonna do much, but it's gonna turn the cart, it's gonna unload the cart to at least show an image before it goes back off. And we want to look at this monitor to see if we're going to get an image. And I have a tiny heat sink right here. And yes, yes, we see an image. Wow, we see an image, amazing. I'm gonna shut the card off. We're gonna reassemble the card and we're gonna attempt to power it on again. I wanna see if the fans are spinning. Customer said fans are not spinning. So a few minutes, I'll be back. We got an image, amazing. All right, so we reassembled the card right here and customer said the fans are not spinning no display and no fan spin so let me plug the HDMI cable and we're gonna test it together are the fans will the fans spin okay so moment of truth Yes, yes, fans are spinning. All right. All right, so we got a fan spin and we have an image on the screen. I'm gonna hand the card over to Big Boss to test it further, make sure everything is good, invoice and mail it back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.